I think I'm gonna actually talk about this pond. We've got a green pond. They should look like this. Unfortunately, it turned green. Now the fish are in here, the fish are doing great. They don't mind green water. No. I don't wanna see green water. Our clients don't wanna see green water. I could literally see a wedding happening back here. It's just so tranquil. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I mean, the sound it makes is fantastic. The water's even on the other side of this. Oh, I, I was joking. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> oh, here it is. Hey. A long sheet waterfalls. Yeah. Dude, I was actually joking. I didn't hear anything from the other side, but look at this. So Mike, where are we, buddy? We're at the farm of Green Village, which is a local, really beautiful, high-end nursery. A lot of acreage, a lot of stuff for the homeowner and the gardener to come and just, I mean, landscape their property like crazy. And we did some water features here, so I wanted to I can hear them. check it out. What we town are, are we in? We are in Green Village, New Jersey. All right, so I'm with Mike Gannon from Full Service Aquatics. I'm Greg Witzlock, the Pond Guy. This is my channel, Greg Witzlock, the Pond Guy, and it's all about showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. Check it out, we have our outdoor showroom here. And we got your foreman, Connor. Yeah. Talk to me about this fountainscape display, that's pretty nice. Okay, so we got our stack slate urn fountain display when these first came out. This is the other one of their aquascapes overflowing urn line. We got a nice display here. We've used some of the ceramics that the actual farm brings in and we made some water features out of those. So this is just kind of giving people of the overflowing urns and standalone design, grouping design. And then as they kind of come through, we have over here. Yeah, it's a, just such a beautiful area. It's a nice area. Yeah. And what they've done in filling it in with landscaping really gives it this comfortable feeling to Yes. It. Over here, we have a pondless waterfall display running through here. So both of these are built with aqua block under the ground. Yeah, exactly. We have a big aqua block uh, basin through this whole thing. Yep. Uh, All of this is filled with water. aqua blocks. The pumps just sit in pump vaults. Yep. You got a multiple pumps running this many fountains, right? Yeah, we have two, actually. Just okay. Two separate ones. Mm -hmm. We have one pump for this whole system. Again, aqua blocks underneath. It's just a recirculating pondless water. And we got a pump vault here with a skimmer lid on top of it, I'm assuming. Yep. That's where the pump sits, right down there. Just recirculates up. So this is a display garden so that you could even send your clients here to experience what living with a lifestyle, aquascape lifestyle is. Yeah, and we try to do, uh, we do talks and garden talks here and try to turn people on to what we do. Right, we so a here's little, a small kit, right? Yep, a little small water garden over here, medium size. Wow, pond beautiful. Over here. All right, so go, go through a little bit of the construction process and also pricing for these projects. We're trying to give different size features so homeowners can look and envision it in their yard. So we have our small, we have our medium, we have our large, we have our pondless displays. Yes. A pond like this takes about three days in total to install. We use about eight tons of material. So probably four guys, three days. How many total man hours are you looking at? About uh, 90 man hours. So uh, about 100 man, under 100 man hours, you can put this in 16,000 pounds of boulders. Yep. And what would an investment with the mechanical filter, the biological filter, pump, plumbing, liner, unlayment, rock work stream, retaining wall, all be from full service aquatics? All said and done, this would be about 18 so $18,000 to completely transform a space yeah. forever with this. Yeah. Where do you start? And this is more of a starter size pond over here. Yeah, we have what we call just the small, exactly frog pond or water garden type of pond over here. Something like this goes for about $8,000. Mm -hmm. And this is what we consider kind of an entry level starter type of pond for people who are just getting into it or don't have a lot of room. Right. So there's always room for a water feature. You just got to figure out how to get it in there. And that you can put this in in what, 30 to 40 man hours? Yeah, we can do this in a day. Skimmer so mechanical bio, skimmer that's over there. Yep. And what I like about it too is it's hidden. So I love the, the plants are growing over the edges so you don't just see the solid ring of pearl look with the rocks. Yeah, we want integrated into the landscape. I think I'm going to actually talk about this pond. Okay. So let's talk about this pond because the power went out, right? Yes. So this is an ecosystem and explain how this actually works because we've got a green pond. They should look like this. Yep. Rocks and gravel, plants and fish, the five parts of a beautiful pond recipe. The five parts of a beautiful pond recipe, by the way, fish, plants, rocks and gravel, mechanical filter, biological filter. If you put those in balance in the five, you will get crystal clear water. But these were in balance in the five, but something else happened. What happened with this pond? Yeah, so a week ago or so in New Jersey, we were experiencing very heavy rainstorms day after day. Very heavy rains and we had a two day power 
power outage in this area. So we didn't have anything running over here. We had heavy rain. We had a little bit of washout get into here. And unfortunately, it turned green. Now the fish are in here. The fish are doing great. They don't mind green water. No. I don't want to see green water. Our clients don't want to see green water. So what are you doing to fix that and how long will it take? Right now we're doing bacteria treatments that'll probably take a little over a week or so to clear this up. And we're also going to come in and do a clean out because there were some other contributing factors to it turning green here. So a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of bacteria gonna be right back in business. So in a few weeks, it'll be clear. It'll look beautiful. So I don't wanna only show perfect ponds on this channel. I wanna be realistic. The majority of water features that I see are clear ecosystem-based water features, but Here's a pond, you could just see the nutrients. You could you could see the protein in the water right now. And that's from all the runoff that got in here, right? Yes. I mean, it was really record rainfalls. Record, crazy, crazy rain. So they had no filtration for 48 hours. Yep. They had runoff that got in here. And now to fix it, you're gonna supersede it with bacteria and do a partial clean out. Yes, exactly. This is an ecosystem pond. This will happen periodically when you have an extreme condition like this, but 100%, this water feature will be as clear as this water feature will in a few weeks. That's the proper ecosystem. Look at the plants in here. There's not a lot of plants in that one either. No, not a lot of plants. It was really meant to be a koi pond mm -hmm. without uh, aquatic plants. You get this question a lot, Mike. One of your frustrations is people that say they can't have koi with plants. It's frustrating because I see the evidence that you can every single day of my life. All I have to do is look out my window and I see it. So this is what we're trying to do is show people you can have koi and plants together and they do beautifully. Right. If you added a plant to a koi pond that had nothing else in there, no rock and gravel, the fish would attack that plant. Yeah. But if you grow up with the fish with the rocks and gravel and the, and the plants, they will, big koi living with plants, no problem. Right, no problem at all. Once okay. you're used to it, they're good. I love this. So you got some signage here just explaining things. And this has got to be one of their favorite places of this whole garden. Owner of the garden center, uh, Jim and David Brill, they say when their customers come here, their kids come running back here. I'm sure adults do too, but people love coming back here and spending time. A Saturday and Sunday, this area is crowded. I could literally see a wedding happening back here. It's just so tranquil. That's why I have this channel to educate people on ponds done right, customers serve right, ecosystem-based approach to water features, and listening to a professional. Mike's a professional for 24 years now, has this podcast, The Pond Hunter. I've been doing this for 28 years and 37 as a hobbyist, 28 years as a professional. And most of the stuff that I see is misinformation about water features. I want ponds done right, customer serve right. And a ponds done right is a beautiful, low maintenance and enjoyable. And a customer serve right is something that they can actually enjoy and be relaxing by and showcasing how people live the aquascape lifestyle. And when you put it in a public setting like this, that's easy to send clients to, it's perfect for your business. Yeah, they get to try it out. They can sit down and feed the fish and listen and look and, and live the aquascape lifestyle if you want to find a professional that knows what he's doing by you check out the link below to find a certified aquascape contractor i love my job <laughs> good job so we got something a little uh, unique here mike yeah we got a very small water feature it's a pondless waterfall in our client's backyard beautiful setting right off the deck in a really nice backyard well, come check it, it out it's gorgeous i mean the sound it makes is fantastic yeah and actually the water is even on the other side of this oh i, I was joking i didn't hear anything <laughs> <laughs> oh here it is hey. a long sheet waterfalls yeah. dude i was actually joking i didn't hear anything from the other side but look at this that is really cool so do you have a light under there too i can see it yeah. there's yeah. a light so that's called a sheet waterfalls yeah it just falls right in there tell me a little bit about this design because it's kind of unique here it's funny because a lot of times people want a lot of water activity so when we we're talking about the actual design she's saying i just want a sheet and uh -huh. i was kind of second guessing her going okay well we're going to tumble it over rock and we're going to twist and turn she goes no i just want a sheet that's all i want hmm. so that's what we did we got a simple sheet of water coming into it it lights up from behind it reflects sunlight oh, on the day beautifully yes they have their outdoor hot tub and living area up here and they just I'll tell you, this has brought them so much happiness, having this simple water feature in their backyard. Yeah, it, 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 water is life. Wow, very unique, my man. So you just have aqua blocks down here and then a waterfall diffuser up here? Yep, this was a very simple setup. There's three large aqua blocks, a pump housing, a 3,000 gallon per hour pump, and a waterfall spillway. That's it. Okay. Really simple setup and about three tons of stone. So 6,000 pounds of rock. You had to build up a lot here because the ground slopes away. So what would an investment like this be from full service? This was $8,000. So for $8,000, you could create a huge amount of pleasure. Look at this.
Nice stonework. I love the sedums that you have growing in here. Yeah, yeah. Soften it all up. Tuck them in, they do great inside here. And she's happy. So she nice. got what she wanted and good. She absolutely loves it. Even the way the sheet comes down, there's no break in the sheet. A lot of times the sheets can get a little thready at the bottom. Right. This comes straight down. You got a 3,000 gallon power pump? Yep. What is this? Free koi food? What? One of my, one of my marketing gimmicks. Okay. Uh, I'm offering free koi food, just a, a sample of food for people. And obviously anybody that texts you has a pond. Yes. And, and they, they, it, they have to be in New Jersey. So okay. It allows me to connect with pond keepers from New Jersey who have koi ponds. We give them some free food and we get their contact information and hopefully we'll be able to work with them. Hey, pretty smart, my man.